Hello everyone on today's JHS show. I'm filming it remotely at Sweetwater in Fort Wayne, Indiana with my good friend and amazing guitarist, Paul Gilbert. He is going to interview me about my pedal board. I get asked all the time and I'm thinking, this is a great opportunity. Let's do it. I'm very excited to find out what's going on on your pedal board. All right, let's let's do it. Uh, you've got a you've got a uh, guitar. It's a nice guitar, mm -hmm. and you got a cable. Yeah. And then what's the what's the first thing on there? So the first thing to me mm -hmm. on my board is my guitar. Right. right. Uh, I play primarily jazz masters. Mm -hmm. for a Are couple you a master of jazz? No, I know I know some jazz like a. But I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it sounds all but, right. You know, I can smooth through it. Yeah. I, I got into them because of like shoegaze bands and alternative rock bands. Um, I play one mainly, this is, a, could be considered a strange reason, but I'm a big guy. Have yeah. you seen me hold a Telecaster? It looks like a mandolin. Yeah. So the offset body, it feels good. It feels, yeah. It feels right like size. there's some real estate. And then. What are I, all the switches for? It's the smooth section. It's so I gaff tape dark. over it. I, I gaff tape over it. Darkly smooth. Yeah. But whatever, either way, it's taped over. And if I don't, I'll use it for an effect. So I what will. What kind of effect? I will turn the volumes off. Mm -hmm. We'll get to this later, but right. I'll kind of set it, you know, with a distortion sound or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. You how, know. how fast can you do that? Can you go really fast? Like, gah, 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 gah. Yeah. So you, the first time. How slow can you do that? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so yeah, this that's important to me. So, you know, I have the guitar, that effect, and then the arm is a big deal. But I never dive bomb. Like, I will do some things like, let's say we got some effect like. You know, yeah. that's about as much as I'll go. So yeah, the guitar is a big piece. So the first, you asked, the first piece, I go into a boss volume pedal. Mm -hmm. I like this now, one. What's the use of the volume pedal? Uh, I, I will swell in with it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't use it a lot. Sometimes I'll fake pedal steel stuff. Ooh. Can, or, we, can we hear some of that? I yeah, some it'll swelling. be pretty bad, but yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's just put some uh, hall reverb. So it's not swe swelling by itself, it's swelling with something. Yeah, so like. Yeah, in that way, or, or. And what's the meaning of that one? Mood, mm -hmm. mood. What is the, you know, it's like, it's broody, brood, it, it, broody, it, it, brood, you know, so. Yeah. Sounds very lonely to me. Lonely, a well, mm -hmm. like a, like a mammal. Oh yeah, the yeah. lonely mammal. The lonely mammal, that was my first band name. Yeah. The lonely mammals, we had no gigs. <laughs> this also, is pre-dirt pedals. So I use it to clean up dirt pedals. Oh, okay. Now I used to play strats a little. Yeah. They were too small and I would do the pinky thing. Yeah. I had, uh, I'm from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Right. And one of the old school guys played at Fame. He was one of the swampers. Yeah. He kind of showed me that those tricks would slide and he'd mm -hmm. swell in. And so I'll do, you know, what you just saw, but I'll also use the volume to clean up the drive. So I'll leave this together. It's the same thing as doing this. It's just I've gotten so used to the muscle memory of my foot. Yeah. I use my foot instead. I'm impressed by that. I've got a very clumsy foot. I would I, that would, disaster would strike if I. I mean, tried look at that. this. I I wear a 14 like you, and it's twice the size of this pedal. That I've I've used mini waz, and I like yeah. them. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. The tuner. So I modded the volume pedal 
It's right. active. I put a buffer and I made yeah. it active. And then I have this Boss TU3S. Is, is part of it missing? Uh, yeah. It's missing the foot switch. It's always on. <laughs> did, so, what, what kind of, did you use a power tool? Did you, no, they made, they made them like they that. They made them like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know if they still make them, but they made them. It's yeah, cute. I'm, I'm, I'm have, having, <laughs> it's going to take me a little while to adjust to yeah, that. I'm, it's in that, it, it fits perfect in the little spot. Yeah. And see. Well, it's nice. It fits in. More, more uh, real estate. The other use of the volume is, oh. Now, I just realized, though, without It'll, the foot switch, how do you turn it on and off? It's in the volume pedal loop. Oh, it's always, so it's always. You just turn your volume pedal down all the way. Yeah, like that. There's a loop on the volume pedal. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go into. Very clever. Clever? Mm -hmm. All right. Then I go into the unicorn, mm -hmm. which is my Univibe, a right. bulb driven Univibe. Now, the Univibe, every once in a while, like. There's a guy, he invites me to blues jams. Okay. I, I like blues jam. I'm not yeah. a great blues player, but I can... It's a guitar. I know, I know what not to play. Yeah. And I know some, you know, some good licks. So I'll, I'll do some Hendrixy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like... So that's nice. That's the vibe, but I don't. I'm, I'm impressed. That's the chorus sound. That's, I like that kind of stuff. So that, right. that's, that's. But I use cool. it in the vibrato mode. Ooh. I remove the clean signal. I've tried the vibrato mode. I'm. I'm. I want to be curious how yeah. you do this. So the Univibe swirl has dry signal mixed with the vibrato. That's what that is. Right. And then vibrato removes all clean signal, and that's why it's a hard vibrato. So I use that subtle. But I, you know, like. That's a little, you know, something really subtle. I'll, I'll leave it on. It's just a little 3D yeah. layer. So, so what, what is the meaning of that? What kind of emotion or, or, or event is going on when when that sound happens. Questions. Yeah. I have Curiosities. Questions. And that killed the cat. Yeah. But Which is why a unicorn yeah. would step in. Exactly. Then I go to my first stage overdrive. Mm -hmm. I do two stages. I use the morning glory that I made. That's my signature pedal. Woohoo! That was kind of how the, kind of some of the origin of the company is I, I used to use the, uh, Black Box Marshall Blues Breaker pedal. Mm -hmm. You remember that pedal? It's a little kind black, of, little, yeah. yeah, it said Blues Breaker. I used that. that brand, but. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, you have to turn it all the way up, it breaks. Mm -hmm. And I found a schematic. This is early on. Yeah. And I just made me one. Right. And then I put a booster at the end and messed with it, and I made my own signature pedal. I like, I like the color too. It's got kind of like yeah. subtle gold sparkle. Yeah, and the little icon, people get confused. It's a, when I was a kid, we played with Roman candles, but they said morning glories. Oh, okay. And they'd shoot, and that's what the icon is. Yeah. It's utter confusion when I read on the internet what the icon is. It's a Roman candle, and I did that because it adds a little sparkle. You know, I had this thought in my head, but it's always on. Yeah. I'll turn it off, so I consider my clean tone that on. If that makes sense? With it on. It's, it's always on. Yeah. Like, I will set an amp and go, you know, a good clean amp, 50 watt amp, yeah. like this, you know. But that's my clean yeah. tone. Yeah. So it's dynamic. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you pick lightly, it's clean, and if you pick, pick yeah. a little more. Get... Yeah, so it doesn't cloud the mid range. Yeah. Uh, Tube Screamer has that peak. It's kind of flat. Whatever guitar I'm playing, whatever amp, it's still there. It just feels better and it has some edge. Yeah. I leave it on all the time. Then, so, go to neck, like. Then I stack those. Mm -hmm. So, when I hit a second overdrive, my Klon, it's mm -hmm. a Klon Centaur, it's always... That's a good name. Klon Centaur. Klon Siberia Centaur Professional Overdrive. 
Wow. Isn't that not for the amateurs. So you, you, <laughs> you can't take that to a, a gig like a no. blues jam because they're not no, paying you. No. You, you know, only the gigs where you're, they're, they're, you're getting a, a cut of, you of, have of to the have, door. You have to be a wordsmith to even know how to say it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll stack it on. <laughs> Everybody uses a clon for a clean boost. Oh. I hate it for that. And I use it as, here it is by itself, which I don't do. Yeah. I use it as like a distortion. Yeah. Hear those, hear that? Oh yeah. I also heard the first two chords of 2112. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So do, do certain JHS pedals sound better when they're upside down? All of them. All of them? Well, Don't tell anybody, though. Okay. Except yours is fine. Yours is the only pedal I've ever made to where, be Where the right side up is the best sound. Yeah. Well, how come you don't flip over the Morning Glory, then? I want it to sound a little worse. It's too good. Okay, the lo-fi. Lo yeah, I need a more lo-fi sound. It's too, it's too good of an overdrive, so... I don't want people to feel intimidated. <laughs> you leave some yeah. some room for the yeah. for the little ones to. Right, right. Yeah. I need people that are you know the tone's not good to hear me play and go that's achievable. Yeah. If I flip that pedal and it's over, they don't play guitar. Yeah. I don't want to have blood on my hands. Then a Panther Cub delay. So the Panther Cub is an analog delay. Right. I built it around like a Boss DM2, the old okay. small. Uh, Memory man kind of thing. I almost always leave it on all the time okay. with a faint quarter note. Yeah, just gives yeah, it just a, a little faint, more comfortable. A little, yeah, because I I tend to play a lot with just a drummer and a bass player. Yeah, and so I fill it up. This subtle. You got it nice and slow. Yeah, it's. I set it pretty slow. Yeah, you're in the canyon. Um, in the canyon, and that's essentially. I could use just that, yeah. but I have this. You got more room on the pedal board. You got to put something in there. You have to. Yeah. So I use, because I don't change my board up. Like, I've used this board for, like, three years. Wow. And I just, I just, it's like, if I can't go play the blues gig with my friend or go play on this a friend's album, if I can't do this, I don't need to do it. Yeah. You know, it's pretty simple. So this uh, Eventide H9 is what I consider, like, my catch-all because it's a computer. Wow. And it has an app. I noticed it had like, is that the one with like the streaming text? Yeah. It looks like the news. So I have this app. Oh my goodness. I have some presets. So in other words, if I'm tracking and they're like, do a trim part, I can just pull up a trim. And I don't have to commit. Yeah. I don't have to pull pedals off. So um, like here's a dotted eighth reverb delay. I like that. That that almost sounds like an like an ad. Like you need to call home and talk to your grandparents. <laughs> yeah. It's Don't forget the ones who love you. So that I have the cool cub, meaning on that one. Yeah, the cub is a quarter note, and that's a dotted eighth, and they trigger like. Um, so the, 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 the edge. The yeah. Pink Floyd. That would be me growing up with my brother playing the Unforgettable Fire constantly, yeah. Joshua Tree, so. That sounds nice. And then, so here's just a clean dotted eighth. And then I always have the quarter on, so. Um, you know. That kind of thing. Which I have to be careful with, because I, I hate that effect when it's too over the top. But mm -hmm. in a mix, you know, it depends. 
Whatever then, that was, it was good. Yeah, and then here's an extreme reverb. Ooh. Now, where does that go in the set? Uh, big ambient stuff. Like, I'm a big fan of, you ever heard of uh, Slow Dive? I don't think so, no. Yeah, like, sho like shoegaze. Just it doesn't big. matter if I've heard of them. They're That's still fine. there. Yeah, yeah. I'm basically the keyboard player. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. It's Hall, just a good old, you know, hall reverb. Um, a reverb with the Brian Eno octave mixed into the tells. I don't know the Brian Eno octave, so, what is that? It's like... It's a really high pitched yeah. layer, so. Again, you know, trying to fill in space. But if I want to go into my app, I just switch the effect. Ooh. I would never use that. That was you. But just, it's there. Did you just write that? Yeah, it, I wrote it. Yeah. That was really cool. But like a real effect. So, '70s guitar chorus. Okay. See. That's my era. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Let's see. point yeah. I can go through here there's hundreds of effects and let's do one more one more name okay. an effect name an effect you're the producer okay and uh, I want to hear uh, well your tremolo okay yeah I'm thinking of the, the Zeppelin song down by the seaside people turned away to wah, 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 wah. That's cool, the tremolo. That's, that's almost like what you're doing the toggle switch. Yeah, and there's you know all kinds of all kinds of versions here. Let's do like a a normal. Yeah, yeah, catch all. Yeah. And the only other piece is this disaster area. Tempo controller. Another great name. So I can reach down and I can dial in a tempo because I play with drummers with click tracks okay. or stems. Right. And I can kind of reach down and do that. Or when I tap it in, it sets this and this. Wow. So. But how long did that take you to get comfortable with? Like, were there any disasters along the way? Like, you didn't quite get the tap right and everything's out of sync for three minutes? Or I, I have, I think it's just very natural. I've never had a problem with tap. That's fantastic. I, I mean, the drummer has to, if you're playing music yeah. where there's rhythmic delays, like U2 is a great example, yeah. Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the drummer has to be self aware and you gotta, you know, it amazes me. That like when I hear some of the old U2 records or Pink Floyd, yeah. there's no tap tempo. There, you know, there's pictures of like two Vox amps and two Memory Men, and yeah. they're like someone setting there like yeah. this, and it, and the it's crazy. So 
It's pretty easy. You can send a signal mm -hmm. from a laptop or another or a click track and it'll set itself. Would you ever do that? No. Why not? I don't know. I like I like You're like, good as it is. I it's like just the organic, it's working. Why the mess organic, organic yeah. just yeah. I'm yeah. fine. I, I like I I think it's there's a point where for me it's too perfect. Yeah. Because you ever walk in the grocery store and there's playing like Blackbird but it's like midi horns. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think one of the reasons that's so uh, unappealing is it's perfect. You know, you walk outside, trees make notes, water makes notes, birds, yeah. and nothing's perfect. And I think music, there's an element of tempo like that. Yeah. I think a band, Led Zeppelin, there's no click track. Yeah. Oh, but when it slows down, and when it, you know. Yeah. So when I'm in those rhythmic things, I just trust myself, and the drummer has to be good or I won't try. Yeah. Yeah, that's my board. Yeah, well, that, that's beautiful. So one, one question, have, have you ever thought like that you that you should swap one of them out because the color would be better? Absolutely. Yeah. Color to me is a is a big deal. And I, I admit uh, that. How would you describe the, the colors of is it a little pastel or what, 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 uh, what's your description yeah. of the way of, of, your, of your theme, your color theme? So, mo you know, most of JHS pedals have a very toy feel, pastel, yeah. Easter eggs, uh, Japanese color tones, yeah. kind of a soft, uh, boss colors, yeah. I love, and, you know, that inspires me. Yeah, I don't like the way this looks. Now, the, the normal Claw and Centaur is a big old, beautiful gold pedal with a horse. Right. I don't have room. So this, uh, is, this is like the machine-made one. Okay. It sounds the same. Uh, I wish I had the big, beautiful horse. I, the aesthetic, I really, I like that, you know. Yeah. I want something to look good. So, so yeah. why wouldn't you get a board that's like a, a little bit longer and put that in there? It's getting older, yeah. you know, priorities. Uh, it's easy to ship. Oh, that's true. It's easy to just carry. Yeah, I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a boring pedal board for a guy who has an insane pedal museum. Well, you museum. get some exciting sounds. And yeah. I guess the last thing is, how is it powered? Voodoo Lab underneath. Uh, yeah. Pedal Power 2. That's all I've ever used. Um, there's other good stuff out there. It's just isolated power. And, and that... that and that unit has the eight. Eight, yeah, eight and supplies. And you've got eight, eight pedals. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a temple pedal board, so there's you a little... Think, do you think if it had nine outputs, you would use nine pedals? Yeah, I'd find a way. Well, like, so I will carry a fuzz. Mm -hmm. It depends, like a tone bender, and I'll just put it on the floor with a battery. Okay. Or every once in a blue moon, a wah pedal yeah. just as a filter. I'll use, you know, sweep it as an EQ. Right. I don't really walk a chaka or anything. Yeah. yeah. That's it, though. Right on. Well, th there's, there's one thing that, you know, speaking of how things look, to me, you know, in, in, in my musical travels, this is an Elvis Costello guitar. Oh. And if you have an Elvis Costello guitar, you need mm. the Elvis Costello glasses. And I, I, think, I think we need to go rustle some up. And just and see what it ins ins you're inspired to play if you have the Elvis Costello guitar and the Elvis Costello glasses. Let's well, do that. Let's do that. Okay. This is good. I think that that's that's pretty good. Kay. I feel like I'm watching the detectives. Okay. How does he sing? Yeah. Yeah. This feels good. I think it's good. You just need a checkered suit or something, and then you'd, be, yeah. you'd really be have something going on. I'm gonna buy a checkered suit. Yeah. This feels good.
Thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to get notifications of every single episode from now until the world ends. Visit thejhsshow.com. There's also a link in the description below. You can become a patron of the JHS Show. It helps with stuff like travel. You don't have to do it. I don't care. But just have a good day. That's what matters. And say bye to Paul, because he's leaving too. Later on. Bye-bye.